During this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a two-step opt-in with InstaBuilder 2.0. Now, there are two ways we can do this. We can use a template that is provided to us to create our two-step opt-in, or we can create our own from scratch. And I'm going to be covering both of those throughout this video. So let's go ahead and dive right into it. Here I am on the dashboard of InstaBuilder, and I'm going to go ahead and click on New Page. And first off, we are going to create ours using a template. So I'm going to go to Squeeze Page here for the template type. And then for the subtype, I want to choose the two-step opt-in. And here you can see that we have different templates that we can use that are already pre-configured for the two-step opt-in. So I'm going to choose this one here and just click on Choose. Now, once this loads up, you will already notice that we don't have an opt-in form, but instead we have a button that says download the report. Now with these templates, of course, you can edit these and customize these however you would like. We can change the headline here, the text, we can change the subtext, we can change the button text, the background image, and so forth. But the important feature here is that when you click on this button here and you click on the gear symbol and of course on the right hand side our options are going to pop up and we can edit all these different options for the button. But the most important thing here is the target link. When you click on this, instead of choosing URL, we want to choose pop up. Now that means when someone clicks on this button, a pop up is going to appear that contains our opt in form and that there is what's called a two step opt in. So we want to click on edit pop up so we can see what that form looks like. And this is what's going to appear when someone clicks on that button. Now, obviously, using a template, all of this information is going to be kind of pre configured for you, but we can click in here. We can click on the pencil symbol here. We can edit these headlines however we would like just by typing inside of them, like that there. Again, we can click inside of the subtext here and click on this pencil symbol here and edit this text as well. We can edit the opt-in form by clicking on the gear symbol as well. And you will actually need to link this up with your autoresponder. So once you click on this opt-in form and you click on the gear symbol on the right hand side, your options are going to appear and the very top one should say the opt-in form HTML code. So you want to click inside of that and you want to copy and paste your HTML code that you receive from your autoresponder. This could be Aweber, this could be GetResponse, whichever autoresponder you are using. You want to make sure you copy and paste that code inside of there. And we can go through here and edit anything else we would like for this opt-in form. Now, even though that this is a template, we can still add more things to this template. So for example, if you wanted to add, you know, another headline or maybe an image, for example, to this pop-up form, we just simply click and drag it and we drop the image wherever we would like it, just like that there. Then we can click on this here, go to the gear symbol and upload our own custom image. And we can also remove things if we don't want them there. If we don't want the subtext here, I can click on that, click on the trash can and get rid of that just like that there. Now, when it's all finished, we are going to click on the save option up here. Go ahead and preview this page and make sure it works fine. So when the visitor lands on your landing page, they're going to click on download the report. The opt-in form is going to pop up just like that with the information that we configured with it. And then they can opt into your form just like that there. And that's what we call a two-step opt-in. As you've seen, we have multiple templates inside of InstaBuilder that you can use for your two-step opt-in, or perhaps you want to create it from scratch on your own custom page and we can do that too. So let's head back to the dashboard here. And again, I'm going to click on new page. This time I'm going to click on create from scratch. And we now have a blank canvas here. So let's say that you're building your sales page or maybe your landing page. You have your text elements out here, your, your headline, you have a paragraph of text here. Maybe you have a video just like that there. And then maybe you want to add a two-step opt-in below the video. So the first thing we need to do is click on the button element here, kind of drag it over here and drop it wherever you would like the button. Next, you want to go ahead and click on this button and then click on the gear symbol so we can edit it. From here, we can change the look and feel of the button. We can change the text, the color, the size, all of that information. But what's important again is down here where it says target link. I'm going to click on that and instead of a URL, I want to make this a pop-up. Then I'm going to click on edit pop-up and then we get an empty box here just like the template. But now we have to go ahead and pre-configure it ourselves. So maybe you want a headline, maybe you want an image, then maybe you would like some text below that image. And then you need to make sure that we add our opt-in form. So I'm going to head over here to my elements. I'm going to click and drag the opt-in form and drop it there. Next, I'm going to click on this opt-in form, click on the gear symbol so we can make some changes. 
I'm going to go to the opt-in form HTML and make sure that I insert my HTML that I received from my autoresponder. And then from here, we can customize the way that our opt-in form wants. Like maybe I don't want the first name to be required. So I'm going to go to the opt-in form fields. I am going to go to manage fields and I'm going to undo the first name here. Let's just take that off. There we go. I want just the email address and maybe I want to change the way this button looks. So I'm going to go to the opt-in form button. I am going to go to edit button. And from here, I can change the text. I can change the style. I can change the icons, the color, all of that different information. Or maybe I want to go back here and I would rather use an image instead of a CSS button. I can upload my own image or I can browse the different images that they have for me here. And we can see that there are all kinds of different images that I can use. So I'm going to choose the get instant access just like that there. And then just like that, we have our own custom two-step opt-in. All we have to do is add a button to our website page and then make sure that button initiates a pop-up when someone clicks on it and then add our own opt-in form to our pop-up. So of course we can save this here, then we can preview it. And so when someone clicks the button here, our pop-up form is going to appear where they can opt in and join our mailing list. Pretty cool, right? And that's just how simple it is to have your very own two-step opt-in using a template that is given to you from InstaBuilder or creating it from scratch.